I think there's a danger of the pillows falling out. Mmm, yummy. That's a bad sign most people wouldn't spot. Welcome back to the channel. In the last episode we left you just as we were leaving Stanmer Park in Brighton. So this is part two of that trip and if you haven't seen the first one then go and give it a watch first. There's a load of things that... Do you want them charged? In the intro of the last video you'll have seen me asking Carol how was the bed? Very comfy. Yeah, extra layer. Looks a treat. This was the whole reason for the trip. Right, let's open this up. This is what we went for eventually after asking for help from other people that had bought a duvalet. Wool room. We didn't go for a duvalet because we were a bit frightened that it wouldn't It'd be fit. too bulky. Yeah, Whereas it wouldn't look fit how in the back. Small this is. And plus this is very squashy. And bearing in mind it would be twice as wide as this. Yeah. Let's get it out and show you. It's a small double mattress topper, same as the one we've already got. So we'll have two for double thickness. Perfect for our little van. And it is the perfect size. It yeah. fits the space perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. For us, it was vital that it all rolls up neatly onto the back seat. So that's two bases and one quilt. But we also need to accommodate the sunscreens and the blackout curtain. Not so sure about that, but we can but try it, can't we? I think there's a danger of the pillows falling out, yeah. but we'll try it for now. We found a lovely little place to rest up after walking around the park. Locals will clearly know where we are, but we're not gonna share this location as some of the local residents are not that happy about van people staying here. Cheese on toast for lunch. Not that easy to cook it, I think, in the Ridge Monkey, as you can't brown it without flipping and making a mess. You don't eat it straight away. You've got to let it go cool a little bit. Then you get the full flavour of that cheese and Liam Perrin sauce. Very crumbly, this cheese. Yeah. When you cut it, it crumbles. Not bad, but not perfect either. How is your cheese on toast? Delicious. Cheese is really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna... Like mature cheddar. I'm gonna flip mine. Next one. I'm going to make mine as a sandwich next time, because that was a bit too much cheese. I didn't notice any difference in that bread. It just tasted like normal boring bread to me. What's it supposed to be? It's Warburton sourdough. Yeah. And I'm sure on the label it said it was like handcrafted. Yeah, they probably um, picked it up and put it in the bag. No, we don't rate it. It just tastes like ordinary white bread. Yeah. We need to get a blowtorch. I don't know where we lost our blowtorch, but we need to get another one because really that would be the way to get perfect cheese on toast. Mm, brown on top. Yeah. Time to get cosy, eh, Charlie? Yes. Here's our new iPad holder for watching movies, Charlie. No longer do we need to have the bin on the bed between us balancing mm. the blooming laptop, do we? It's well cosy. Yeah. Okay, let's watch some YouTube on it. Give it its maiden voyage. <laughs> Carol spent her time working on our channel whilst I was fairly brain dead, just pondering. Right, time to get out of here. Nice little quiet spot this really isn't it? Very nice, by the pond. So it's time for something to eat. What do you fancy? Roll up, roll up, place your bets. What do you think we're gonna get? You've got Peak Farm shop here look. Park Farm. 
it's a park. Oh, I thought it said peak. But yeah, you misread words, isn't it? Hello, what's going on here back out the front? Mr. Maserati. Well, oh, no, the road's, road's closed. closed. We're calling him Mr. Maserati because he roared past us in a squeal of tyres moments earlier. Yeah, no, it's it? just an ambulance coming. Oh, the yeah. Is it closed? Maybe it's closed further up ahead. Oh. No. <laughs> that was very uh, off-putting, wasn't it? Yeah. And fought us a treat, didn't that? Yeah. Seeing those blue flashing lights. It was the car doing a U-turn, and I've no idea if it was a Maserati. That then tonight, isn't it? Is it a Friday night in Brighton? No, uh, it's a bit too early for any too excitement. Too early for kicking off. Be an accident, wasn't it, or something? Now, what did we end up getting? Let us know in the comments if you got it right. Hello, Charlie. I've been to Uncle Sam's. You've got the goodies. <laughs> Just going to eat it here, watching a bit of YouTube. Okay. Barbecue sauce. Mm. We need a tray, really, don't we? You need two trays, I think, Charlie. Okay, two trays. Uncle Sam's bag of better burger. We'll be the judge of that, Uncle Sam. <laughs> well, I enjoyed that burger. Mm. Sure, all right. Mm. We're watching a guy called Chris Harbour. He has his own small holding in Wales. Totally off-grid, totally self-sufficient. We fancy a walk along the seafront now and onto the pier. There's always a lot of vans here on the hill just before you drop down into the marina at Brighton. Absolutely perfect evening for a walk. The idea was to park down here on Madeira Drive, but something I've spotted is putting me off. Most drivers wouldn't notice it, but through experience, I can see it a mile off. We've come full circle and we're back up on Madeira Drive and the thing that spooked yeah. me is coming up. Did you spot it? I did. Let me play it for you again. There it is. In several places along this road I noticed broken glass clearly indicating to me that vehicles currently being broken into here and now that I know that I don't really feel like leaving the little red camper unattended with the current cost of living crisis rising fuel prices etc crime will undoubtedly be on the rise I've seen it all before it's just the same at Christmas when Christmas time rolls along the armed robberies start to happen at small off licenses, post offices and the like. The only thing you can do to protect yourself against a car break-in is not leave anything on view. But sadly, even that doesn't work sometimes. Our plan for an evening stroll has been thwarted, so we're aimlessly driving around at the moment. British Airways I-360 has shut up shop for the night. There's glass come out the front. All the glass on the floor. They've got a real car theft problem going on down here by the looks of it. We've seen so many cars that have had their windows broken. Totally puts me off leaving the van. Yeah, it's Partyville, so I wouldn't 
personally camp down here in a van. And spend the night, but it's no. all right for the evening to go for a walk. Carol's clearly got her hopes Carol still up, up for a walk, but uh, there's no way I'm leaving the van here. So we're going to have the briefest look at what's going on and I'll grab myself a drone shot if I can. That looks a bit nippy. There's nobody else in the sea, so these are two brave souls. I only hope their bikes are still there when they finally come out. Poor bunny, she really wanted that walk. I'll have to think of something else. He was tight roping these boards, but I wasn't quick enough. At least I managed to catch Dougal the dog. Sadly, I've missed the best light on the beach now. Everything's in shadow. This is the road up to Devil's Dyke. And boy, is it a killer driving directly into the sun. made it just in time before the sun sets. Looks like a few other people have got the same idea. Car coming. It's a pub restaurant here. And the food's quite good, but we won't be dining tonight. We're looking west here, along the South Downs, towards Chichester. We watched the sun go down and then set about thinking about where we were going to spend the night. And just as I was packing up, these bugs began to take to the air. I've absolutely no idea what they are, so if you know, please do let us know in the comments. Well, they were fascinating to see, but if we get one of these in the van tonight, Carol's going to go nuts. How was the bed? Very comfy. Extra layer. Looks a treat. Made a big difference, didn't it? Yeah, so as we didn't wake up till quarter past eight. Ah, perfect. Mm. So we now got a quilt. Um, what is this? This is woolen topper. Mattress topper. Mattress topper. And then a second mattress topper. And this is made all the difference. Mm, double thickness. Double thickness. And the good thing is it still rolls back. Because mm, it's so pliable, isn't it? Yeah. It's so quite soft. Yeah. Okay, time to get out. Yeah. And this is what it looks like with the pillows and the sunscreen in place. You can see that it doesn't interfere with where the seat has to bend in order to go upright. We returned to where we rested up the previous day in order to spend the night and very peaceful it was too. Every morning Carol practices her French for future trips. We will definitely be doing a lot more of France. I wonder if that big old truck has gone from behind us that was here last night. We spoke to an elderly lady this morning. She wasn't too happy with some of the vans that have been staying. She told us that during Covid this place was packed with people sitting by the pond, but now they've all gone again. OK, we're fully rested and it's time to get back on the road. Seen so many. <laughs> Can you stop? I'll get a picture. It's quite easy to stop in a little MV200, so I'll just pull in here. No, 
Normally, I think of geese as being quite tough birds, and Carol was attacked by them on our trip up to the Lake District. But these geese seem particularly timid, and especially frightened of the seagulls. Right, this is going to be attempt two to get going. This is another of our favourite haunts. There's a lovely old 2CV here on the left. I wonder what they're like to drive. This view of Lansing College. Yeah. That's a savage bump. This is the back entrance to Shoreham Airport. And you want to be careful if you're coming in this way, particularly if you've got a tall vehicle. I always like to look at the scratches on the roof when I go under one of these. Looking for something new Not sure what hope to find it soon Not trying to complain But I could use a change I risk it all I played it safe But it don't matter, the outcome stays the same Nothing lost, nothing gained I could just use a chain A little up, a little down A little lost, a little found Can you see the planes? A little hope, a little doubt And I may be wrong But I want to believe Changes somewhere in between. Drunk at a bar, we're singing in church. I walked away from both feeling worse. Disappointed and ashamed. Man, I could use a change. And every day, there's someone new who's trying to sell me their birth. And I don't buy what they say But I could use a change A little up, a little down A little lost, a little found A little hope, a little doubt And I may be wrong But I want to believe The change is somewhere in between And maybe this too shall pass But I'm losing interest fast Or give me something that lasts Right Seen enough of the planes? Yeah, been there, done that. Right. Breakfast then. was all right. I thought you liked that bread, didn't you? But I thought mm. there was a bit too much bread. Mm. It was delicious granary bread, but there was a lot of it. I had two slices and they were like that thick. I had a measly portion of baked beans. beans yes. You need half a can to it go with a bit of bread a bit like that. It was dry then, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Say goodbye to the airport. Goodbye, airport. That's always been a barrier here, isn't it? Yeah. Another 2.1 pollinator cafe is open. Yeah, in a park at the back into the sun. Are you ready, Daisy May? Yeah. Go on in, let's go. Finding a sheltered spot here is easier said than done. And if you can hear a load of clicking, that's us setting up our chairs. He's got it. Now all he's got to do is swim all the way back. As you can tell by the weight, 
That was a blooming long swim. We absolutely love these chairs. They're so compact and easy to carry. Just gotta make sure you keep your hand on them to stop them blowing away if it's windy. Can't really find a, a sheltered spot here, can you? No, there's nothing to shelter behind. You haven't managed to anyway yet. No, but it's all right with your back into the wind. Yeah. Not much happening at the moment, Charlie. No, where's all the boats? There's a couple of canoes over there. Mm, what's that little dinghy? And a safety boat. Or a little boat. We've got the lifeboat over there. What's that tower monument thing there? Oh, uh, well, that's that's like a little lighthouse, isn't it? Mm. But don't I know don't know. I think it's just a lighthouse mm. for when this used to be a very old port. Yes. I find I can't really wear sunglasses when I'm filming. I can't see any of the detail on the screen. It's a hard life. <laughs> Thankful for the harshest wind that keeps me leaning up against your skin. Your skin. I'm thankful for the darkest clouds that makes your sun feel brighter now and then again. I'm grateful for my broken heart so I can rearrange the parts brand new for you. I'm thankful for the coldest cold that leaves me basking in your glowing view. It's you Oh, the hard times only bring me closer Only bring me closer to you Oh, the hard times only bring me closer Only bring me closer to you If 
you enjoy these videos, then help us out by giving us a like and hitting that subscribe button. That's all from this little trip. We hope you'll join us next time for more adventures in the Little Red Camper, wherever that might be.